Do you have a standard plant? Many of us probably say yes. Do you really have a standard plant? Only some of us might say yes with hesitation. Do you really have a true standard plant? Only very few of us will say yes with confidence. The reason why only very few of us have a true standard plant is that making plant standard is something really, really, really hard. Many of us fail to answer the ultimate question: What's the output with the customer's particular input if they decided to choose your standard plant? We know the performance and the utility requirements at the design condition, but how about the off-design conditions with a given set of existing equipment? In this video, you will learn what a true standard condenser stabilizer looks like. The standardization journey starts from a reference point. In this example, the reference condition is 3,000 barrel per day condensate with a product RVP spec of 9.3 psi. Engineers will will first finish the simulation, and then issue the exchanger process data sheets to vendors. Some engineers declare they've got a standard plant of 3,000 barrel per day stabilizer after they receive the exchanger's quote. Is this really a standard plant? Not at all. Since they really cannot answer the ultimate question, what's the output with the customer's particular input if they decided to choose your standard plant? The next step towards standardization is to integrate heat exchanger design into simulation software like Osmond Hisis. In this second model, the heat exchanger geometries are input into the simulation. As you can see, the feed bottom exchanger is a BU type with a shell diameter of about 10 inch and a tube length of 53 inch. The reboiler is a BQ type with a diameter of 14 inch and a length of 136 inch. Let's say the customer has 10 more percent flow. And they want to have the same product RVP of 9.3 psi. The ultimate question becomes: Can that plant handle 3,300 barrel per day with the same product spec? After we run the model, yes, the plant can handle 3,300 barrel per day with the same product RVP spec. However, the hot oil flow needs to increase to 161 gpm. By the way, it was about 141 gpm for 3,000 barrel per day. The customer may say they don't have the requested additional hot oil flow. Then what? A third model is set up in a way to answer this challenge with fixed hot oil flow rate. Simply input the 3,300 barrel per day feed, and wait the simulator to converge. Once it is finished, the new product RVP becomes about 11.3 psi. For your reference, the product RVP used to be about 9.3 psi. The first model is set up in a way that every time it runs, it requires a new different size of heat exchanger, and it will never lead you to a standard plant. On the contrary, the second and the third model solve with the fixed heat exchanger geometry. After you build the second and third model, now you can declare you have a standard plant. Thanks for watching this video. It is brought to you by Guofu Chen. More interesting topics can be found at showcase.guofuchen.com.